In this presentation, we will study sum of product form. It is also written as SOP form, where S stands for sum, O stands for of, and P stands for product. So let's start with it. You can see one truth table in front of you in which there are three variables A, B, and C. And you already know if you want to find out the total number of combinations, the total number of combinations then it is equal to 2 to the power n where n is the number of variables where n is the number of variables and here the number of variables are 3 so definitely 2 over 3 will give us 8 so there are in total 8 possible combinations and I have already written this 8 combinations starting from 0 0 0 all the way to 1 1 of uh, 1 f is the output of this truth table and this is our function and uh, I have already written the value of the function for this different combinations for the first combination when a is low b is low and c is low the function is also low and in the same way it is a low high low and for the last four cases it is a high so let me tell you one thing in boolean algebra you can express this function this function f can be expressed in two ways the first way is to express it in sop form sop form that is our sum of product form and the second way is to express it in pos form pos form and uh, these two forms are very important and very easy at the same time and definitely some problems will be there in your exam and uh, they are very easy you can easily understand these things and solve their problem so let's start with the sop form in this presentation and in the coming presentation i will explain you the pos form the sop form is uh, written when the function is high I will write the SOP form only when the function is high. So let's see when it is high. You can see for this case the value of f is 1 and uh, it is when a is low, b is high and c is low. In the same way f is 1 for the last 4 cases. So the function f is equal to, let's see for the first case, a complement and b is 1. So I will write b and c is 0 so I will write c complement as I have already told you we will write the SOP form for the true values or for the high values and a is low so I have to write it as a complement whereas b is 1 so there is no problem I will write b as it is and c is also low so I will write c complement function f is 1 so I will write f I will not take its complement in the same way I will see for this case a is 1 b is a 0 so b complement c is a 0 so c complement for this case a is 1 b is 0 and c is 1 and for the second last case I have a is 1 b is 1 c is 0 so a b c complement and for the final case all the three variables are high so a b c this I call as the sum of product form. This I call as the SOP form. Why I'm calling it sum of product? Because you can see I have product. This looks like product. Actually, it is not product. This dot is the AND operator. But uh, at first, it looks like it is product. So I have the products and then I'm taking the sum of this product. This is the sum. However, this is the OR operator. This one is the OR operator and this dot is the AND operator. But it looks like sum and the product. So I will call it as sum of product. I'm taking the product and then I'm taking the sum of this product. That's why I call it as sum of product form. And uh, this particular form I call as the standard I call as the standard or canonical SOP form. I'm calling it standard or canonical because I'm writing it directly from the truth table. The standard or canonical form is written directly from the truth table table you can also minimize this and you can have your uh, minimal SOP form that I will explain you in a minute but before that let me explain you one important thing that is the min term that is the 
min term the min term usually looks like a complement of b and c a b c a b a c a complement c etc and etc i'm calling it min term because if i write a or b or c this is the max term and if i write a and b and c this is the min term we are calling it max term and min term because of their look so all this six are our min terms and we write min terms as let me first write down the decimal equivalent of these numbers zero 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 is zero this is one two three four five six seven this is the decimal equivalent if you don't know how to write down the decimal equivalent of a binary number don't worry in the coming presentations in the number system i will explain you how to write it down but for now you just know that these are zero one two three four five six and a seven now we write down the min terms like let me change the color for this i write it like m zero is small m the small m represents it is a min term capital m capital m represent it is for the max term this zero represents the decimal equivalent so i can represent this case as m0 similarly m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 this is how i will uh, write down the min terms in examination they will not give you the truth table but they will give you the min term so let's see how the question comes in exam the function is f and the variables are written in this bracket in the same order you cannot change the order so a b c are our variables and now we have to write down the min terms for which the function is high so let's see the function is high for what min terms this is one the function is high for min term m2 so i will write m2 or it is high for m4 m4 or it is high for m5 m6 and m7 so i will write m5 m6 or m7 so these are the min terms for which our function is high you can also write it as summation small m 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 there is no need to write it like this you can easily use a summation that shows you are taking the sum of this min terms actually it is the or operator but it looks like sum that's why we are taking this summation mark don't confuse yourself with the actual sum it is the or operation but we are using the plus sign so it looks like sum that's why we are taking the summation so in exam the question will come like this and you have to find out the sop form the minimal sop form by using this information so let's move back to our canonical sop form that we have already evaluated from the truth table now we will use boolean algebra to find out the reduced form or the minimal sop form let's do it quickly i hope you remember the rules of boolean algebra it will be a great practice for us and you can also have this from this information it tells us that for m2 the function is high this one is m2 this one is m2 for m4 the function is high this one is m4 for m5 m6 and m7 function is high so this is m5 m6 m seven there is no need of truth table you can easily have all the informations from this representation and now we will minimize it by using the boolean algebra so let's do it in the last two terms you can see a b is same and uh, in this two terms you can see a b complement is same so i can write it like a complement b c complement or a b complement is taken as common from the distributive law and we are left with c complement or c from here i have a b and in bracket i have c complement or c now you already know c complement or c c complement or c is equal to 1 so i have a complement b c complement or a b complement and from here i will have a b because this is 1 
and this is a 1 2 and you can see now again we have something common in the last two terms that is a so I will take a as common from the last two terms and we are left with b complement or b and b complement or b is again going to be 1 so I have function f equals to a complement b c complement or a now let's see what we can do if you remember the distributive law I told you if you have this case a or a complement b just neglect a complement in the same way if I say b and c complement is x then I have a or a complement x I can neglect this a complement so I will neglect this a complement and I will have a or x x is equal to bc complement so a or bc complement so this one the final result the final minimized result of uh, this function that we have obtained from the truth table and both these expressions will give us the same truth table and it is better to use this one because it will use the less number of gates now let's move to the SOP form this is also the SOP form this one is also the SOP form but the type of the SOP form is different this we call as the standard or canonical and this we call as the minimal this one we call as the minimal SOP form because it is a minimized so there are two types of SOP form that you need to know and uh, in exam they will ask you to have your canonical have your canonical or standard SOP form using using this minimal using the minimal SOP form so they will give you problem like function f is there that is equal to a or b c complement now you need to convert this function that is the minimal SOP form to the canonical so in the coming presentations I will explain you how to solve this problem it is a very important we will do the procedure for the SOP form as well as for the POS form so I think this is all for this presentation if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and I will end it here see you in the next one